You are sport for choice when it comes to fishing charters operating out of Kurumba. But Pantania fishing charters are a bit different to all the others, as they venture out deep sea where the real action happens. Hello there, you must be Dale. Yeah, welcome aboard, Penny. Oh, yeah. thank you. Good to finally meet you. Mm. Yeah, I really like my fishing, so I can't wait to get going. When I get going. All right, sounds good. <laughs> well, thanks for having us aboard the Pantana, Dale. I can't wait to get out there. How many um, people does it actually sleep? Eight passengers and two crew. Okay, and what about the size of the boat? 45 foot vessel. Wow, okay. Air conditioned, steel like hull. Fabulous. And um, how long do you usually go out for charters? Yeah, minimum of three days, yep. up to ten. Yeah, yeah great. And uh, where are we heading to? We leave at the river at Kurumba Port. We go across the Gulf in a northwesterly direction. We go to Bountiful Island. We go around past Bountiful Island up to Pasonia, around the top of Mornington. We go to a little island called Man of War. <laughs> Going to fish on the top side of that then come back to Mornington and fish around there. Sounds interesting. Yeah. So it's a fair distance, isn't it? 125 mile. How, the top how of, long will it take to get to Approximately Mornington? 12 hours around to Mornington. Really? Wow. Yeah. Excellent. And um, what sort of fish could we expect to catch out there? We get all most species of reef fish, a lot of Spanish mackerel. Yeah. Um, you reef fish, red emperor, trout, nanny guy, finger oh. mark. Mm, yeah. Okay, wow, big yeah. variety. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, sounds and a lot of mackerel. Mackerel. Yeah. Yeah, They're good eating too, aren't they? Nice, mm, nice. Okay, oh, that sounds great. Very excited to get out there. Yeah, I'll go and pull the anchor and we'll go. Okay, great. Steaming from port in the late afternoon, the sunset was gorgeous. Did you tell me that you love me just to open up my heart, just to crawl down deep inside and just to rip it apart? Drawn that dagger just a little too far And now I'm falling, falling, falling Now I'm falling apart, apart I'll rip your clothes off and burn them in your bed And grab your little husky and take it with you instead I'm not your puppet and you won't play me like a fool I don't know what you did and I'm coming After travelling all night, the first lines hit the water just before sunrise, and it wasn't long before my first hookup. The barracuda was not our target fish, but it put up a good fight anyway, even on heavy gear. They're not a very good eat fish. At this size, barracuda are not to be eaten, and with razor sharp teeth, this is one fish I would definitely not kiss before I sent him back into the blue waters. While you're fishing on the top deck, Jockey the Cook is down below taking care of Smoko. <laughs> You will need a feed to keep your energy up because the fish are constantly on the bite. Being anchored over a reef, next into the ice box was a beautiful parrot fish. 42 centimetres. 42. Yay! Yeah, yeah, great parrot fish, they're pretty good eating. But it's nice colours. Yeah, beautiful. Fished them already. You know you're in a good thing when even the locals use the same charter. Charlie, a regular on the Pantania, was about to show me 
how to land a highly sought after table fish. A good sized red emperor had everyone on board jealous and hoping for more. A quiet spell was welcome rest after the workout my arms were getting. But it was short lived as the fish decided it was time to play again. And they seemed to be getting bigger and bigger. You missed the belt loop there, John. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I just want to see it. <laughs> After a 15 minute wrestle, this shark finally showed himself. And with a flick of his tail, he saved us the hassle of retrieving the hook. Charlie. Good one. Happy work. <laughs> no wonder you couldn't jack it. That was awesome. <laughs> more lines in the water meant more chances of catching fish. Even the Captain Dale was getting amongst them. This was a magnificent fish, and up to this point was catch of the day. But Tail's glory came at the price of bruising and sore muscles. But it was a small price to pay for the tasty fillets to follow. Uh, between 13 and 19. <laughs> 19. <laughs> For all the details to plan your own fishing trip, jump online to karumbafishing.com. The boat was put in motion for some afternoon trolling. As soon as the captain heard a shout out, it was a signal to kill the engines as there was a hookup. And I had an inquiry on my line I had to well, attend to. All on board had their suspicions it was a mackerel by the way it was shaking its head. <laughs> I nearly had the mackerel in gaffing distance, but he had other plans. Thank goodness Jockey came to the rescue and anchored me so I could land this big fella. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Who was holding on to me? <laughs> wow, that was awesome fun. <laughs> What a perfect end to an awesome day's fishing. Join us after the break as we show you how Jodie kits out her four-wheel drive on a budget for touring.